He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we gather on this Tuesday of the octave of Easter to once again praise God for this glorious day and the gift of new life that we have in His Son, Jesus. Let us prepare ourselves to enter into the sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sin and asking God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom he's crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. 
He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. <clears throat> Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Victime pascali laudes, imolen Christiani, agnus retem et oves, Christus in us gens patri, reconcilia vid peccatores, mors her vita duello, conflict serre mirandum, dux vite mortuus regnat vivus, Dic nobis Maria, quid vidis di in viam, sepulcrum Christi viventis, et gloria vidi resurgentis, angelicos testes, sudarium et vestes, Surrexit Christus pes mea, precedet suos in Galilea. Shimus Christum surrexisen, amor tuis veren, tu nobis victorex miserere. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feast where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? 
She said to them, they have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And then reported what he had told her. the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We heard that marvelous story in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, how so many came to faith and to accept Jesus in baptism on that day of when Peter was preaching on the day of Pentecost. And they asked, what are we to do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized. Well, that's the Easter message for us as well, too. Now, when we hear the word repent, we think more of Lent uh, for re doing repentance, uh, change of heart, conversion. But Perhaps this year we still need to repent. Um, we say, well, I'm already baptized. I don't need to repent. Well, the conversion, the change of heart that helps us to get the, the new attitude that directs our mind, heart, soul, spirit to God and sets everything on high where Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father well, we might still have some need of repentance. And even though we're in the Easter season, in some ways it still feels like we're continuing Lent because of the restrictions about gathering and social distancing, all these kinds of things. It seems that's more like Lent. Well, there's still some repentance. And, and in the gospel, we see how, or we heard how, Mary Magdalene clutches onto Jesus. She's overjoyed to see that the one she presumed to be dead, I mean, she saw him die and be buried, and she went to weep at the tomb. There he is, unrecognizable to her at first, but when he pronounces her name, when he speaks Mary, she recognizes Rabboni, teacher, and she holds on. I've always loved the, uh, the reflection by uh, Rollheiser on, on this passage. It's like she wants to hold on to what she knew to that which was familiar and she doesn't want to let it go and aren't we that way now with this season of coronavirus we want to clutch on to that which we knew and which was familiar and gave us a sense of knowing how to navigate in this universe and Jesus tells her Stop holding on to me. I have not ascended to the Father. We need to stop holding on to what was before. 
because everything's brand new now. The resurrection made everything brand new for Mary. She's no longer sad. Uh, she's going back to the disciples with good news. I have seen the Lord. Her heart is now filled with life and joy. And we perhaps haven't gotten to that place yet. Our hearts are not filled with joy. And that's why what Peter said at Pentecost, repent. So that you can enter into the full mystery of baptism, which gives us new life. Enter into baptism by which we have died with Christ and been buried with him. So that we could rise with him in newness of life. That's what I'm talking about in terms of we still need to do that repentance. Not clutching on to what was a former way, but now looking at what God is doing. What is this work that God is doing now to bring us to newness of life? So that our hearts can race like, like Mary Magdalene's. Race with joy. Race with life. And to proclaim to everybody, I have seen the Lord. I've seen him in the goodness of people. I've seen him in the kindness of the acts that even I did. That came forth from me. In the patience. In the generosity. In the concern for others and that concern which expresses itself by what we're being asked to do shelter in place stay at home is stop spreading the virus well this is a new way of being and our hearts need to find that joy in this and stop clutching Jesus wants to offer us new life. So in our prayer today through this Mass and your prayer at home and your reflection, your time for meditation and contemplation and reading the scriptures, ask yourself, what is God doing in my life? What is he asking? What is God asking of me to let go of so that he can fill me with his grace and light and peace and joy. Let us pray. We pray that the, the church and especially her, her uh, ministers and the messengers of the gospel can be like Mary Magdalene and go and announce the good news that we have seen the Lord at work in our lives and that we proclaim him as risen from the dead so that people can have hope and can look to God for that fullness of life which they're longing for. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for... The, heads of state, leaders of government, a national state, local levels, here in our country and throughout the world, so that as they deal with all the issues that surrounding the coronavirus, both the health issues and the economic issues, and keeping good social order, that they may be filled with the light of Christ which came in the resurrection to dispel the darkness of death and to lead us into a way of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, we continue praying for those who have been affected by this virus and who are struggling to live, uh, who are in hospitals and on respirators, that the Lord may touch their lives with healing and give them strength uh, to recover their health and for their, ang for their families who are so anxious for them that God may also, in the midst of all of this, give them peace and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and for the doctors and nurses and EMTs and first responders and the grocers and the pharmacists and all the public officials and servants who are helping us uh, to navigate uh, through this new way uh, so that God may protect them and keep them safe and give them the strength that they need uh, to fulfill their mission and to do their work effectively. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who are at home now, uh, acting as teachers when they never thought that they would be. And their students are complaining they hope that they, don't, they have a different teacher next year. That's you, Mom, homeschooling. May the Lord give you the energy, the wisdom, the enlightenment to help guide your, your children, your pupils in their studies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for you, the parishioners of St. Joseph on the Rio Grande, for your intentions and needs, those of your family, your friends, your relatives, may God in his mercy grant you the grace that you need to have conversion. Not just seeing gloom and doom and darkness and despair, but like Mary Magdalene, to have light and joy, to be able to tell good news to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the deceased, Mildred, Brianna, and for all who have died recently and have not been able to have a funeral service, for them and for the consolation of all their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, please add your own special needs. Oh, Father, we thank you that in the resurrection of Jesus, you have destroyed the power of sin and death. And you have brought us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. Lift us up out of the darkness of the grave and the doldrums that surround us and help us to see the beauty of life and the grace of this day that you have given to us that we might experience your presence in our life and announce you to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Verdaderamente ha resucitado el Señor. Aleluya. Verdaderamente ha resucitado el Señor. Aleluya. Verdaderamente ha resucitado el Señor. Aleluya. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. 
Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also... his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi Letare, Alleluia. Quia quemeruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis deum. 